You know, we met with Kaiser uh, before we, as a Board of Supervisors, committed $3 million to St. Rose, which happened about two weeks ago, to help their cash flow going as they're uh, changing their uh, ownership. And they're in discussions in that, in that process. And Teamsters Local 856 is at the table. A district 2 brought the Teamsters to the table. Kaiser, before we entered into those discussions, committed $3 million to match the county's grant to help St. Rose stay afloat. Uh, when everything came full circle, Kaiser said, you know, we're not going to be able to provide that $3 million. So we are publicly asking at some point, if that $3 million is needed from Kaiser, we want them to provide that grant to St. Rose because we sincerely believe they owe that to the community now that they're leaving uh, in 2014. Um, I, I believe the San Leandro Kaiser is expected to open um, in 2014, and that's why the that's why the St. Rose Hospital is is important to save because you know the Hayward Kaiser will be closed around that time. Um, one of the things I want to point Mary, out is that for Mary, hold the mic closer to your sure. mouth, please. Thank you. No problem. Um, I usually don't have a problem being heard, so I apologize for that. Um, for over a year now, the County Board of Supervisors, and I believe uh, Supervisor Wilma Chan, have expressed uh, strong concerns about the uh, St. Rose's Hospital's uh, serious financial mismanagement uh, that has costed Alameda County taxpayers uh, millions of dollars. And I think uh, taxpayers need to see a strong uh, long-term viability plan to save San Leandro Hospital. You know, we can all sit here and make that philosophical commitment, of course. We want to make sure that a hospital that's been part of this community for 50 years uh, must be uh, preserved. But what is the, the long-term viability plan? Because even the Board of Supervisors have said that there's some serious mismanagement uh, that is happening at the hospital, and that needs to be addressed. My solution to the whole problem is I've been a Kaiser member since I've been in California. They provide adequate health care, but let's face it, the county always offers the low-ball medical to their employees. Uh, my opinion of it is, is uh, maybe St. Rose ought to sell their own health care plans. Uh, I have a county health care bill that would be self-insuring. If Alameda County is paying $700 a month for every employee they got to Kaiser, why not pay $300 to a savings account? have the uh, employees, uh, like me, 23 and a half years, I went to Kaiser four times. You know, Kaiser made probably $120,000 off of me alone by going to the doctor four times. If you had four million people paying into uh, general fund and maybe 50,000 people going to the doctor every year, that time. savings account would tenfold, and in five years' time, there'd be a billion dollars in there earning money, and the county only paying for services that are provided as somebody needs them. Thank you. Thank you. 